What's up, everybody? Uh, we're back. Uh, I had a nice little break. Took about, what was it, 10 days off. Much, 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 much needed. Um, sorry, just got done loading. Uh, regardless, we're back. We're loading. Um, we'll get out and show you here in a minute. Uh, we ran up here to Roxboro, North Carolina, picked up a load of OSB. Just got done tarping it up. And uh, taking this to, unfortunately, Northeast Maryland. So, I had three options this morning. If I wanted to wait, I could have, but all three were going to Maryland. So, that really wasn't a good sign right from the get go. So, I'm like, you know what, screw it. I'll just take one and deal with it. We got New Year's coming up. It's still going to be a hit and miss week. So, you know, get some money on the ground, get back to it, get back in the groove of things. But, uh, all right, enough ranting. Let's get out and show you what I got. <coughs> That's it. <coughs> Boxed up OSB. Pretty straightforward. I hate tarping this kind of junk. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. All right, so back in the truck and uh, gonna make it up the road. It's about 320 miles. Uh, we're gonna have to deal with the cities, but uh, we'll get up there and call it a day. Talk to you in a bit. Well, today was a waste of one. Uh, we left really early this morning. We left about three or. 30, can't quite remember in the morning. Um, <clears throat> ran up, delivered that in Northeast Maryland this morning. Didn't get no footage of it because when I got there, it was still dark. Um, but I wanted to stay in front of all the <clears throat> city traffic there in D.C. and Baltimore. So after that, we hung out over there at the uh, Flying J up there at Exit 100 because actually where I delivered was in the industrial park pretty much across the street from it. And sat there waiting and trying to find a load until about one o'clock. After that, I said screw it and started heading south. I don't normally like going up to that area, but I figured with New Year's coming, today being New Year's Eve, I figured, you know, if I got a shot at getting something to at least keep me moving, it'd have probably been out of there. I probably wouldn't have liked the rate nor where I would have had to go to pick it up, but at least it would have got me a load and kept me moving. Not the case. But I did kind of save my own ass. When I picked up this load of lumber, I asked the shippers down there in Roxborough, North Carolina, if they were gonna be running on New Year's Day. And they told me you know, at that point in time that yes, they would be. So I made a couple phone calls and yep, sure enough, that head sucks, but I can run down, grab a load of lumber, going right back to Maryland for Thursday, but Oh well, I mean, it's something to do. This time of year is real tough, so can't be too picky and greedy. Um, it's better than sitting around doing nothing. So that's the plan tomorrow. Since I won't be in a rush, I'm not going to have to beat too much time. I won't have to deal with the cities on delivery on Thursday. Uh, we'll probably get some footage of that. Pretty simple and straightforward, though. Just another load of OSB tarped. But as of now, I'm going to hang out here at the TA, just north of, well, where am I, technically Ashland, just north of Richmond, and uh, I'm going to get myself and my fat kid on, get some Fuddruckers, and relax and call it a day. Right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Alright, we're loaded up. Uh, it's going to be a little noisy in here. Did all this wonderful stuff. Uh, yeah, here's what we got. OSB. <coughs> Excuse me, all tarped up. That's the uh, tarping machine up there. Normally I love it. Today it's windy and I hate it. But not terrible. That is going to be a problem, I'm sure. But, oh well. Next side there. Oh, 
This side looks a little better than the other side. Still might be a problem, but we'll see. Alright, we're gonna climb in, scale up, and uh, get up on our deck on this wonderful New Year's Day. Happy New Year's, by the way. Well, this is a terrible start to the new year. Um, one I've got delivered this morning. I don't know, probably about 11 o'clock or so. Uh, had a nightmare, got in a couple arguments. Not going to get into too much detail. I didn't film none of that. Probably to save my own butt. But regardless, empty. They offered me one load. That was garbage. Was not going to do it. And other than that, nothing. So, I ended up bouncing back down here to Richmond, where I pretty much spent all week. And as of now, I ain't got a reload. I get after the first, or during the first of the year, it's a little rough, but it hasn't been this bad. Not for me, ever. So, I don't know what's going on, but not a real happy camper. But I got all kinds of time on my hands, so I guess what I think I'm gonna do is actually take one of my old four foot tarps that is uh, pretty beat up. And I think I'm gonna go flop it out on the deck, measure it out, and then cut a couple um, smoke tarps out of it. Or basically, single coil tarp. Find many uses for it. I've been wanting to get one of them for a while, and I got a old tarp that I drag with me that I don't really ever use, so might as well make some use out of it. So I might go out, set the camera up, and, uh, I don't know, shoot some footage of that. Other than that, it's been a terrible week. Terrible, terrible, terrible week. And judging by the few trucks that are in here already, and even the flatbeds that I see, it's like it's not turning out too great for anybody. I don't want to hear I'll paint you guys around to show you this. One there, big old oversize. And then you got another one where you at? over do, 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 there. Right, I guess that's it. That's enough of my raining, my boredom, my aggravation. I guess uh, while it's still nice, we'll see how the wind is, because judging by the flag over there, it doesn't look like it might be much fun, so. I don't know, go outside, set up, and see if I feel like doing it. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright, so here's what we got. Got the tarp all laid out. Another than my patch there. And see, that's the real bad one. That's the part that gotta go. So pretty much here, up, oh, we're gonna keep, which is 10 foot. And about here, back. It's gonna be about 10 foot. This side back here, still gonna need to do some work on, but so I'll end up with two 10 footers.
What's up? <clears throat> we are sitting over here in Gerdau in Petersburg, waiting to get loaded right now. Um, kind of a weird situation here. I was told I'm picking up oversize, uh, 60 plus foot beams. Got air checked in, and on top of that tarp, which I guess is the season. Um, get here and get the load sheet. And according to the load sheet, which I double checked with them to make sure it was the right load number going to the proper place, and it was, but it's saying I'm only getting 50 foot beams as the biggest section. So not complaining. They already ordered me permits, so got a hold of them, let them know, because I don't want them charging that back to me. I'm not paying for permits if I don't need them. Uh, but that makes my life a lot easier, because this is going to Langhorn, PA. It's a short bounce from Monday, but pays five bucks a mile, so... But now, especially if I'm getting that oversized rate and it's not oversized, bonus for me. But I figured I'd just give you a little pan shot here. Uh, let's see. Got that guy loading there. I've been here and filmed many times. This is a popular place for me to come. Um, I like loading out of here. All these letters, everyone that works here is pretty cool. Uh, some Gerdau's can be real touchy and go as far as, you know, a-holes, I guess is probably the best way to put it. Uh, some mills, everyone there hates their jobs, hate their lives, they're miserable, and they make everybody else around you miserable. And then this place here is real laid back for Gerdau, and yeah, so we're going to grab this. I'm gonna, I got the other camera charging. I'm going to see. I'm going to toss up on the back, get a shot of this getting loaded. And uh, I think that's my loader actually there coming over with the uh, first set of beams. So let me jump out, see this is my guy, try to get the camera set up in time, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, here's what we got. Now, this does need tarped, but it was supposed to be oversized, and it's not. We got 50 foots and 40 foots. Five chains, two straps, is only 38,000. And once those tarps come off, straps on it, we'll be done. This will be it. I'm gonna go make me a Walmart run and uh, call it a week. Talk to you guys later. 